Hello, fellow Earthlings. We are Real Juicy News, and this is our follow up video to our previous created and uploaded one about desktop app images from appimagehub.com in regards to the latest, my sort of Firefox version 127 or something newer. That's available, makes it a hell of a lot easier and probably lighter on your RAM, your memory, of your computer that is. You have to go look in the task manager to see the difference from the common Mozilla Firefox, how much RAM or memory that's actually using, and then this app image here. We found it's using next to nothing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you step by step by going into our home download folder. Yeah. We downloaded it from apphub.com. The it is there. You simply click on it. It'll say execute. Well, it doesn't in your one when you first download it, which is free. You go to properties. Okay. You can shorten the name because it's like got all these other numbers after it. Okay. And then you got to go to permissions. Go scroll down here. Tick this box. Okay. Then you close it. You can put a highlight. Oh, sorry, an emblem, so you can recognize which one it is. Okay, because you might have Mozilla Firefox 127 or, uh, or later on your desktop already. Okay, uh, you got to have 127, it's got to be matching the one that you've already got, or else it'll say uh, if you use the older version, it might conflict with your new one and you have to create a new profile or this sort of stuff, right? Okay, so you can put a key there or whatever, so you can recognize it, just tick it, right? Okay, close it up, you, you sent it to the desktop. Right, send it to the desktop, create a link, and there it is there. Okay, you open it up. You can take a couple of seconds. Maybe. Okay, you should open it up. New tab, etc. Like your uh, already installed with MX23. Microsoft Firefox 127. You can update it if you got 119 or something like that. We did have uh, Kadachi 8.27 Linux OS, and it got to a stage where we're at Firefox 113, and it says it's out of date, and you couldn't get to YouTube. So we try to find a newer version of that, and he hasn't done one for about a year apparently. Uh, something's going on there, so I thought, well, we're going to have to replace it. So we went and we got. MX23, which is really good, but we decided to play around with the sound because we saw Pro Audio, Pro Audio 2, and this sort of stuff. And eventually, as we did do, we do, we messed it up. And then we spent about five hours frustrated trying to find a, a USB stick or a CD. Yeah, it might have been older, so we could just get on there and download and burn uh, MX23 from distrowatch.com onto a rewrite DVD which they don't seem to do around do anymore it's all these one time one time only ones so if you make a mistake well what a waste of a CD right maybe it's one of their plans you know so you buy more of their other ones and you have to go buy more you can't use a rewrite forever sort of thing okay so yeah we found out the problem why we couldn't see the next tab yeah, because that what here was covering the top of it and that's why we couldn't see it duh Okay, um, so we fixed that problem. So we at DuckDuckGo, we opened up that app image, and it says uh, when we try to apply, we, we set the uh, website to DuckDuckGo. It says, oh, there's a problem with this sort of stuff. What? But then we looked, and there was the add-on we added. No problem, right? Okay, and then we added this one which is read aloud a text to speech voice reader just in case we might answer someone's comment and it's like the holy bible length right too much for you to read or too much to post so you have to do it in like three or four parts okay sometimes that happens when we're getting really passionate about a certain subject on a certain sister website uh sister youtube channel whatever right because we feel that it needs to be explained fully so someone will understand it okay so yeah um so we basically uh duck duck go we go in here into the settings, just like your common settings, you know, we set it up with Firefox to how you like it. 
Okay, we thought it was a problem in here why we couldn't see these extra tabs, but it seems to be this was the problem. It was covering it, okay, so we couldn't see it. Duh. Okay, um, so it's basic settings. Yeah, always check if your Firefox is default browser. Yeah, we can't be bothered with any other one. Uh, at, least it's, at least it's a bit better, a bit lighter on memory, RAM, whatever. So these basic settings here. Yeah. Check your spelling as you type you, all the basic ones. We just save your files, what you do with Firefox, do with other files, all that sort of stuff. But we cut down all this other stuff, you know, that they didn't really, really need to know. Home, duck, duck, go, cut out all this, but yeah, it looks good, but uh, yeah, pain in the bum sometimes. We don't really need it. Other people go, oh, so that's what you would look at. It. Oh, oh, we've got to remove that, you know, because it shows, it basically shows you what you've looked at. So if you've gone to some sort of website, oh, there it is. When your web search and your shortcuts, right, let's put it up there. Um, not that we're doing that anymore, okay? Um, there's your search. You tick, 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 all that sort of stuff. We cut out all this stuff. You know, don't really need it. They don't need to know, really. They're snoopers, snooping on us. Okay, put it on different settings like that. Okay, clear data. Okay, click on that and it should clear it. Your case web content, your cookies and site data, yeah, whatever. So, okay, so we go back and have a look. Should be nothing. There's nothing there. Okay, zero, zero bytes. Cancel it. Okay, all this sort of stuff. We didn't really need to save our passwords. We just write them down. It's easier and hide them away. Then a locked up book or something like that. Okay, never remember history. It's, this one actually stays like that. Okay, clear our history, whatever that might be. Okay, everything or forever since we first began, whatever. Okay, so that should stay like that. So when we shut it down, it's not like your common Firefox where it goes back to use custom settings or history, right? So that's no good, is it? Okay, and you got permissions, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we had, uh, we could change those if we wanted to. Okay, Firefox data collection use, well, if, if they don't, okay, it's to help them, I suppose, but you know, we don't really need them to have that information. And it doesn't really affect Firefox, we don't think. Okay, there's your security, HTTPS only mode. That's probably when you get those captures, all that sort of stuff. But we found through an add-on, it was actually kept referring us to that. Okay. Here's some other settings. Leave it as it is. You can sync it. You can get more from Mozilla. Okay, and all that sort of stuff. So that's all good. And then we go to add-ons. We just go here, click this puzzle, right? Instead of putting in or clicking on add-ons or whatever, right? and it'll go, take you right to recommendations. This is the one here that's the problem, apparently. It says, uh, well, people's comments. Yeah, well, we found that this one is what the reason why you get those capture pages. Check out if you're not a robot, right? So you don't use that one. Okay, read aloud. Got that. Find more add-ons. Okay, you go to this add-on page, you can have a look here, sometimes this can be found, sometimes it can't, there's another one, we like this one better, sponsorship block, YouTube non-stop, that one's not so bad, this one's pretty good, if you've got like a whole page you want to read, you get it to do it for you, Google Translate English, use that one, because the rest is like Robbie the Robot and really annoying after a while, um, you can block it's adult sites and all that sort of stuff, but a lot of these, like now, they don't have a password, so your kids can't, or your teenagers can't shut it down and then go watch all Pornhub and all that sort of stuff. Okay, um, so we go to staff picks. We always seem to go for these ones with the recommended. Okay, we don't recommend this one. That's the one that you know, takes you to a capture page according to the comment, whatever. All this stuff here, yeah, this isn't too bad. This is pretty good if you don't want people tracking you to your email, all right? All that sort of stuff because they do that and then they send you all this rubbish, spam, and all that. Oh, this God just told me that you know you're a special person and all this sort of crap, you know. Um, buy this before it's you know, you need this to change your life, all that sort of rubbish, right? All that spam, okay? Cookie auto delete, it's not too bad. A lot of these don't really get rid of your history. Okay, this one's not too bad. This one's pretty good. There's 
uh, privacy possible but we couldn't find it sometimes these are there sometimes they're not you know not available whatever okay so go back okay so we be able to add those go back here we'll be able to add any of those that we like to an add-on here and then when we shut it down and then start it up again waiting 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 okay um it's still there okay it's not like you know the os tails where you use it you test it out and set everything up like you know your firefox and all that sort of stuff and you surf for a while when you shut it down it all disappears so you have to reset it again it's not like that like that unless you know how to use the uh, persistence option okay on a usb and it saves it to it or something like that and then just run it we haven't worked that one out yet okay we're still looking at that one okay so then you add all these add-ons your settings all that sort of stuff and bam it's all up there and you can go to the internet and check out our youtube channel real juicy news no problem there task manager wise it's probably lighter where is it down here we go look at task manager see if we can find it recently used task manager have a look at it okay probably could make this no it's not going to make it smaller okay but down here firefox the app image it's only 6.8 megabytes okay here what's this pid and the percentage looks like it's pretty low yep see where are we yeah it's pretty low okay so that's probably a hell of a lot uh lighter than your common firefox that you're using okay we recommend duck duck go it's pretty good there's another one with this uh it's all encrypted all that sort of stuff but we found they're actually like sending you ads or something or spamming you or whatever to the other sister website they kept recommending these other ones these other uh search engines yeah it's pretty good we don't believe everything you know don't believe the hype because they might say oh we don't spam we don't do this we don't do that but really behind the scenes they are collecting your information and not selling it to somebody else okay so it's a hell of a lot easier okay you've got this taskbar out of the way okay it hides that you either put it here you've got three choices it either you can either set it so it goes here here or up here okay it doesn't go down here so what we did was we got through our package manager we got this Cairo doc and then we looked at the uh, options you know what we because it had a lot of things like Thunderbird and help and all this stuff and all this other stuff we didn't really need right extra folders and all that sort of stuff didn't need it but everything we need is there now right applications menu all that sort of stuff your desktop right brilliant lovely okay and you can hide it see it disappears okay it's not only way when you do a video you can just go with your uh, screen recorder this section here you can cut out that bit or you, yeah it saves you having to get rid of them putting them in the trash and then hiding these with it from when system or that sort of stuff you know your desktop system uh option all that sort of stuff you just put your screen to whatever size around it right okay and this one here it's readily available you can hide it or probably low on resources yeah hell of a lot of better uh, better option okay so that's the beauty of um putting these app images up easier faster than trying to install it through your terminal especially if you're a um, newbie and you have no clue to linux right you're too used to windows all that sort of stuff okay this cleans all your crap okay your trash and all that sort of stuff you've got to put in a password uh, the password to get into your mx system mx23 you just put it in your password And tap that and clean it see gets rid of all your crap application cases all your package cases all your trash all that sort of stuff right easy as uh there's also one called bleach bit and then there's uh mx uh cleaner sweeper and all that sort of stuff do we really need it we could probably download them but it was hell of a lot easier putting stator on the desktop 
okay then installing it if you find other ones like bleach bit bleach bit root with its application app image brilliant okay so if you uh like this video then you know what to do fellow humans click on like because you like this video and subscribe to our channel because you like this video and our videos Yelch! hit the knee on the drawer Yelch! not very pleasant Yelch! okay uh ooh. okay uh yeah so what were we oh yeah subscribe to our channel because you, you like these videos this video our videos and then go tell everybody else you know your family your friends your neighbors strangers etc about this and our channel because we've got really great videos and yeah they'll come and they'll look at it and they go wow that's a hell of a lot easier solution much much easier than trying to install it through a terminal i don't even know how to do that because i'm a newbie to linux uh how do you do that you know your grandma's looking for uh, whatever she's looking for she can't find it she's like oh dearie i can't find this can you help me you know i can't seem to find it well look grandma you know you put your glasses on it's all there on top of the desktop easy as just click on it oh okay dearie thank you very much you know okay so as we said if you like this video give us a like subscribe to our channel and add your comments below we'll get back to you on those as soon as we can and then go share this with your grandma your family and others thank you for taking time to watch this our latest video upload.